Hey Virgo, welcome to Virgo Bright Tarot, all Virgo all the time. Happy Friday, y'all. Um, so this reading is for you, my dear Virgos. This is going to be a Virgo singles reading. It is that time. A little different from new love, okay? Um, this one is for any of you who consider yourself single. I mean, you could be living with somebody and consider yourself single. You could be in a marriage and consider yourself single, even if everybody else doesn't. That is up to you. That is how you define it is not my business, Virgo, okay? All right, so we're going to do a singles reading. We'll see what love is coming toward Virgo single people. God spirit, this is for Virgo singles. Let's see. What are we going to start out with? Uh, we'll, hmm, we'll start with the tarot, but I want to use a different deck. I don't want to use these. I'm going to use these. I haven't used these in a while. Let's see. Okay. God spirit, this is for the single Virgo. Some people consider themselves, even if you're in a, if you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, if you're not married, some people say, hey, I'm still single. I mean, hey, it just depends on how you define it. Okay, so who's coming toward Virgo, Virgo singles? What love prospects are coming toward Virgo singles? God, spirit. Somebody at my door. Who's that at the door? my daughter <laughs> she's so cute okay who's coming to a virgo singles let's see Ooh, we got a page of cups pisces cancer scorpio clarify for me please okay sagittarius energy with the temperance give me one more one more who is this somebody stressed out about you virgo Mm. Okay, this could be someone you moved on from or someone who moved on from you. But there's some stress around this. This could be a message coming in. Could be a very light message. It is page energy. Like, hey, how you doing? Just wanted to, you know, check up on you, see how you was how you how you were doing. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Okay, we got the sun, Leo energy, and the lovers, Gemini. Clarify the sun, please. Five of Cups. Somebody has had some sort of uh, maybe a realization or something with that sun energy there. And they are in regret. Five of Cups. And we have a King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me about the lovers. The lovers can be a choice between two people. We have the Ten of Wands. Is somebody under the weight of their decision here? Ten of Wands. And we have the hangman so somebody is seeing something at a different perspective perhaps they sabotaged this and chose another so i apologize if you are i'm not wanting to hear about an ex but this could be something about a past person okay he come um showing back up here um let's get a little bit as to i want to take a look at a few things i want to see god's spirit why the nine of swords why and now i don't know if that's you stressed out or them stressed out why the nine of swords please clarify please clarify the nine of swords all right we've got seven of swords the star and we've got the seven of wands bottom of the deck is the fool so yeah somebody is stressed out maybe you freed yourself from a situation where there has been some um, some deception, okay? Someone could be stressed out that you're standing up for yourself. Um, you have Aquarius and Aries energy here. Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Pisces, Li Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is the, let's see, let's see what the sun is illuminating here. Clarify the sun. Okay, you got the six of swords the illumination is that you're moving on okay or that you have moved on six of swords and i feel like this person may feel the need to apologize or come in and say something to you okay tell me about this king of swords queen of wands okay so i fi figured that with the star here i, fig I feel like you're standing out a little bit okay 
um it also the queen of wands can also be a mistress okay another woman another man okay where maybe this person went towards someone and they're now regretting it queen of wands yeah the five of wands they could have created comp they could have brought competition into this connection um and now this person is going to be coming back towards you if we have time i'll take a look at new love as well because i know sometimes some of y'all do not want to hear about no ex and so i get it i get it i do want to see the five of cups i want to see why this person is in regret what are they regretting okay we have the fool and we have the empress okay i wonder if they went towards something and it, they were ultimately disappointed um why the fool and the empress okay the ten of swords or they okay well, yeah they were either ultimately disappointed when they went towards something they thought was wish, wish fulfillment um or this person is regretting breaking your heart and breaking your trust okay so we see this person way down over something the ten of wands let's see yeah they are very much in their head thinking about you day and night nine of swords regretting okay we have the magician and they're trying to find a way to manifest something with you and try to get the courage virgo um to come back towards you after they left you out in the cold or they got left out in the cold give me one for the five of wands i'm trying to see what this this drama is about five of wands please okay king of wands six of wands yeah this person could have definitely brought competition in but i feel like this person also sees something new going on with you where you are in a totally different you look different you look different virgo and i'm not talking about just looks okay i'm talking about your your energy is different okay so change in perspective with the hangman here the will of fortune and the nine of wands this is the energy of not giving up and wanting to see things move forward in a positive direction and here they come with a cup okay so yes you have a past person who's going to come towards you um we got sagittarius energy here we have all we have all kinds of signs here in fact everybody is here there just is not a whole lot of earth here to be honest with you but water fire air here very strongly um so we'll get some cards around that and then i'll look at new love for you as well because i just feel like some of y'all are sick of this story um you know you may you may or may not give this person the time of day i don't know so they definitely sabotage this connection tell me about this person please spirit okay we got beauty yeah i told you some of you are like you're changing you look different to this person okay you have heart fog mixed signals blocked emotions I don't know that might be you that could be been this person definitely trying to block their own emotions trying to deny what they were feeling yeah resistance here yeah so they i feel like this person tried to resist you but now with peace here they want to come and make peace with you um i just heard you haven't made any noise you haven't made any noise what is that so i feel like this person like in the beginning maybe you ask this person why are you doing this what are you doing um you're making a mistake why you know or whatever and lately this person noticed you you're not contacting them you're not trying to contact them you're not you're not doing anything and so this person may be kind of like missing that energy and wondering well what happened to you the next thing you know they look your looks have changed your attitude has changed and you may be dating or in the arms of someone else okay male or female doesn't matter okay um, let's see any other details we need to know about this situation yeah I think we'll close this one up let's go ahead and look at um, another story here let's see let's see if we can get another story here all right anyone else coming coming to Virgo for love and commitment besides that ex God spirit anyone else coming to Virgo for love and commitment besides that X we just saw anyone else coming toward Virgo with love for for love and commitment besides that X that we just saw okay we have the Hierophant we have the Knight of Cups okay Taurus Pisces Cancer Scorpio okay and the Page of Swords okay 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is someone you could meet online, okay? Or you could have met this person online. Let's see. Tell me about the Hierophant. And we have the Queen of Wands. Le uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay, and the Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. We have the Empress. This person thinks you are so beautiful. You must be a looker, Virgo. Beautiful or handsome. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Swords. We've got Judgment. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. Five of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. I'm kind of getting a little in intimidation factor from this person. Okay. So they could be feeling like, gosh, you know, Virgo is so beautiful or Virgo is, Virgo is so handsome. I don't know if I have a chance or even if it's not necessarily about looks, it could be just popularity or your dynamic personality. And this person could be wondering if they um, even have a chance here. Um, this person finds you extremely attractive. This person can be younger than you. They don't have to be. If they're not younger, they just could be shy okay they're, they're, but they are making a decision they're making a judgment call to come towards you now i feel like with the eight of swords this person is overthinking the situation it's probably not that serious you're not going to punch them in the face if they ask if they ask you out okay but they totally have overthought this situation um to death here all right let's see just a second all right let's see let's see let's see so this person thinks about you commitment with you hmm so a lot of people here i do want to see what the eight of cups is let's see eight of cups energy five of cups clarify the five of cups the three of swords okay so this is the person you meet after that energy um yeah so we have eight so something new here this is new you may still be on the heels of leaving another situation behind yeah because death is here at the bottom of the deck um you may meet this person online this person definitely is spying on you okay so tell me about the page of yeah will of fortune hoping for good luck with you here will of fortune okay this person may know what you've been through yeah they may know that you're healing from something and so there's an element of them being patient here. Tell me about the judgment. Tell me about the judgment, please. Okay, we have the star. We have Aquarius energy. So this person, I mean, the nine of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So this person, I feel like, has been holding back. But they just see you now that you're single. Now this person in their head, eight of swords yeah they're in their head tower moment for them gosh a realization i always said i would go to virgo if i found out virgo was single oh my god virgo is single what am i gonna do i gotta face my fears you know tell me about the tower ace of wands and so you could be very surprised by this person's approach it's very romantic the knight of cups here the knight of cups there pisces cancer scorpio sagittarius aquarius leo sag areas airy areas leo sag aries <laughs> Um, Libra, Taurus again, um, Scorpio, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, everybody's here. Everybody is here. All right. Yeah. This is somebody who's been hiding. Look what's under, look what's under the Knight of Cups. You got the moon and you got the sun. What's it, what the feelings that they've had in the dark Virgo, they're about to reveal to you. Okay. So this could be someone who's been waiting for your behind to be single. Been waiting for you. Um, let's see. Let's see, how will Virgo know who this person is? How will Virgo know who this person is, please? How does Virgo know who this person is? If you didn't meet this person online, it's possible that you, um, this, this is how this person is going to communicate with you. All right, so we have the concern energy. How will Virgo know who this person is? We've got the journey. Okay. 
Now the journey can be however I gonna know who this person is. And we got the lovers. Mm, hello. Now the journey could be that you know this person and you guys have had some sort of connection throughout the years. It could have been strictly friendship or work. Okay, but you could have been on a journey together. This could be someone you meet while you travel. Okay, or this could be someone at a distance from you. All right, let's see. Let's get some how you know this poison here. All right, tell me about concern. Why is concern here? Maybe this person expresses some concern to you. Hangman and the strength. So this person is definitely like holding back from you for some reason. Let's see. Tell me about the hangman and the strength. And the judgment. Why is this person concerned? Okay, okay. So they're they're waiting. This person is either okay, they could be concerned that see because they are watching you, Page of Swords. They could be so concerned that you're not single or that you will shoot them down. So there, I see them making a judgment call, but they're kind of holding back, waiting here. Let's see why Journey is here. You have the Page of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So clarify the Page of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Death Energy. Okay, so I do feel like... Again, for some of you, journey could simply de depict travel. But for some of you where the, it's more metaphorical that you guys have been like on a journey together, like you've been through some things like as friends or whatever. Um, I feel like this person may have gone back and forth with themselves or this is a dynamic that's going to change. It's like our journey brought us from friendship to, you know, to them being afraid to approach me because they they thought they were they were going to be rejected to them finding the courage and it changed the dynamic that they made this offer here so you may you may feel like the dynamic between you and a friend is changing that could be one hint of how you know this person you find yourself thinking about this person more they're texting you for no reason or whatever okay let's see why the lovers is here the tower and the fool there could have been something impulsive that happened between the two of you um like you know <laughs> you're not you know you're just friends and then all of a sudden you're kissing or something you know like like how did that happen where did that come from you know tell me about the tower there could have been always this underlying at attraction there you know yeah i feel like this person is more like a friend or an acquaintance here and then it speeds up and this person decides to take action um so maybe this hasn't happened yet but if you have someone who's seemingly just a friend or someone you hang out with and all of a sudden this person asks you out or all of a sudden you guys are hanging out and this person grabs your face and kisses you or something like that this may be how you know who this person is because the dynamic will quickly change between you and this person just very suddenly um, even if there was always an attraction there, okay? All right, any more of how, how Virgo may know who this person is? Okay, we have the fish, business, finances, commerce. Some of you could work with this person, okay? How would Virgo know who this person is? Okay, so we have the scythe, the danger, accident, warning, um, energy. So, I don't know. I don't feel like this person is dangerous, but... I do feel like they are they are scurred. Okay, let me see why the scythe is here. Let's clarify the scythe. Ten of cups. Okay, yeah, ten of cups. Okay, five of wands and the ten of wands. There's a lot of pressure around this. When they do finally make an offer, okay, it is after you have cut something else off. But also there may be a little bit of like fear. Like, do I want to get into something else? Do I want to ruin the friendship that we have? You know? I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's get a couple more. How will Virgo know who this person is? We have all kinds of signs here, y'all. I don't know. It's everybody. It's, it's anybody and everybody. How will Virgo know who this person is? We've got... How will Virgo know who this person is? 
Okay, we have home. You're comfortable with this person, whoever they are. They may have been to your home. You may have been to theirs. We have a destiny energy. So something just could feel right about this person. You know this person is supposed to be in your life, even if you don't know in what capacity. We have the Ice King, which always gives me air sign vibes, you guys. Okay, but it could be anybody. Okay, um, this person could, again, be very businessy with you. You guys could be very straightforward friendshipy business co-worker boss whatever um but this person has feelings for you and then we have gossip at the bottom of the deck so i do feel like this is a connection that if you all were to get together that people would be talking like i knew it i knew there was something between them even though there wasn't you know maybe just an attraction or chemistry that other people could see or other people could feel okay my dear virgos yeah so you all may know who this person is um we will get some who cards at the end of the reading as well so any of those scenarios could apply especially with that scythe um this could be someone who you have confided in and you've talked to this person because they are your friend and you may have told them some things that you've gone through in um another connection you know so you got someone who knows that you went through something tumultuous with somebody else and yes, I said tumultuous. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Somebody corrected me in the comments one time. But guess what? That's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> say it like that. Oh, my God. We Virgos, boy. We love to correct somebody's grammar, spelling, whatever. All right. So let's get some oracles. Last oracles. So we see who these people are. These will get mixed messages from both spreads. You put these descriptions where they belong, Virgo. Oh, hold on. What is that? Oh, okay. All right. Tell me the highlights of this reading for Virgo and the people coming toward Virgo. Got death. Yeah, somebody you ended something with. Relationship over. Finito. Bye bye. Twin flame. Some of you could consider one of these people your twin flame. Yep. Dates getting back out there. Yeah. So this is gonna. This may be someone that you. You know, they ask you out on a date, you know. I mean, it could be somebody that that um, that you already know, okay. It could be somebody new. All right, let's see. How does Virgo... Could tell me more about these people showed up in this reading today. Please, Spirit, tell me more about these people. All right, we got two intense. So there's definitely an energy between you and someone that's very, very intense more to learn yeah that's definitely with the new person even if that's a friend of yours virgo i feel like you guys are going to be getting to know each other on a different level okay on a different level okay and fresh start wow so this could be someone you, again that you meet after a breakup and you guys and look looks at the bottom that things are changing so this could be again a friendship where the dynamic begins to change and you're like hmm I know they was feeling me like that or you know I kind of thought they were but I wasn't sure so you know you know how that goes all right <laughs> this is for Virgo put it with the person it applies to all right let's see we have regret we know that's for the X right I mean I guess the new person could have gone like I said they could have gone back and forth with approaching you with an offer look transformation a big change here breakthrough you're ready for the next level so something again a dynamic is changing here and we have solitude so some that's definitely could be your energy where you have like pulled yourself back um uh, out of the dating scene even for some of you not everybody but for some of you you could have pulled yourself back from the dating scene altogether and you got somebody who's just like, okay, is she or he ready yet? Is Virgo ready yet? All right, let's see. For Virgo. Okay, yeah, you left somebody behind. This is someone that you left behind or they left you behind. Yeah, ooh, we got jealousy. Look at that eyeball. Look at it. Somebody's watching you. They just jealous. Now, honestly, that could be either one of them people. And you got energy. Yeah, so I see a change in energy and an increase in energy especially from the new person um but probably from the ex too i mean it is what it is okay last but not least let's get you some who cards so remember 
the Chinese zodiac could apply so pay attention to the year and that could be something significant that happened in that year or the year of someone's birth the regular zodiac or the tropical zodiac your sun sign or moon rising any other placement could apply or something could have happened in that season and the other cards are self-explanatory okay who are we dealing with here in this reading please spirit Oof. get them all out first okay now I gotta get one more just because of how I am one more one more one more please spirit who's Virgo Oop. Jeez, these cards was flying out of there. Okay, Year of the Rooster is at the bottom of the deck. Um, 1945, 57, 69, 81, 93, 2005, 2017, 2019. Masculine energy. Okay, that could be you, that could be them. They're coming in with advice and guidance. Okay, again, you could have confided in one in this person. And they could be like, yeah, go ahead and heal from that so I could take you out, girl. Go ahead and heal, heal from that so I can cook you dinner, boy. Okay, we got Cancer, Cancer season, Cancer in the chart. We have short term. Okay, again, this could have been somebody you had a little time with and then that was it or whatever. All right, we have the year of the goat, 1943, 55, 67, 79, 91, 2003, 2015, 2027. If I'm going too fast, you guys, you can always look these up. Okay, year of the pig, 1947, 59, 71, 83, 95, 2007, 2019, 2031. All right, we have the Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio in the chart, Scorpio season. We have Virgo, Virgo in the chart, Virgo season. We have the year of the dragon. All right, this is 1940, 1952, 64, 76, 88, 2000, 2012, 2024. And we have Twin Flame yet again. So some of you could be dealing with someone who you determine is that Twin Flame. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for joining me today on Virgo Bright Tarot. Remember, Bright Light Tarot, you also have a reading. You guys also had another reading in Rumble today, so you could check that out. Um, that one was a little heavy, so I wasn't sure if I was going to post it, but I did, just in case it's for somebody. So go to Rumble. Rumble, check that out. It's absolutely free. If you need a personal reading, reach out to me at the email in the description. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, both in Rumble and over here, so you know when I go live and upload new content. I, Virgo, I love you, love you, love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Friday. Light and love to you. Till next time. Bye-bye.